Hey guys, so today we're going to be making over these Bratz girls who have bad haircuts. So we're going to try and give them hairstyles and like fix it and make them look cute. Um, because I never find Bratz dolls anymore for affordable prices, even though these were $8 each. But like, you know, I rarely see Bratz dolls nowadays, so I bought them. And I'm going to be fixing these two up. This is, I don't remember her name, but she's from the Sisters of Different Heights. Um, she's the shorter one. It's like Lilani and Kiani, I think. I don't know. And then here we got Beach Party Jade. She's looking fab with her haircut. Whoever did this, your mom's a hoe. Um, this is Beach Party Jade because she's like a part line somewhere in here. That, like, makes it so that her hair is parted to, like, be up and down. But I'm just gonna, like, do her hair up in, like, that, like, slumber party jade look. Um, I have her full outfit just already, like, the beach outfit. So she'll just wear that when she's done. But, yeah. Not sure whose top this is, and I think this is Campfire Chloe's skirt. This is Eye Candy's, um, not, yeah, Megan. No, Phoebe. Phoebe. Eye Candy's Phoebe's uh, skirt. I don't know who this lace top is, but it is fully done. Like a normal top. And then the shirt underneath it. We can get this lace one off. Like, it's properly done. Like, you can tell. It's not just some, like, homemade shit. It fits her perfectly, so I would assume it's some sort of Bratz piece I've never seen before. But as you can see underneath, this tank top is her original. So she has one original piece of clothing. Um, in this video, we're also going to be cleaning up Jane Belittle here, who has none of her clothes, but she did have her arms. And this Jane Belittle, and this Jane Belittle doll uh, tends to uh, be overpriced online, so I picked her up. So I can fix her, and she can go in my new doll bin until I get her clothes, which will probably be a very long time. We also are going to be fixing up this uh, L -L LOL OMG dolly. Um, as you can see, uh, she's not too bad, so it won't take too long. Uh, I bought this one because the one that you may have seen in another video... Uh, had really burnt hair and it was really bad. This one's hair is really soft, really smooth, um, and it brushes out. It just needs like boil wash and like some treatments, but it's not burnt. It's not crispy and bad, so she's gonna be a much easier fix than trying to fix, you know, the one that I'm now selling. She also has her other hand, which is both hands. So, yeah, she has her tights and she has her bodysuit as well. So I just need to get her skirt, her jacket, and her shoes, really. Of course, she's missing accessories and earrings, but, like, whatever. So, first thing we do is we put all of our tools aside. And we take our dolls and just set them side once we've declothed them and removed any jewelries and accessories. start working on like these natural disasters get some hot water and start wetting them 
dish soap and baking soda to scrub them. that Jade is looking far better. Still not clean, but she's looking a lot better than she was. So I just poured some baking soda, grab it on my toothbrush, take your wet doll, and just go to town. Especially on something like a Bratz doll, this shouldn't hurt it. Bratz paint is, uh, very durable. So. It's less likely to be harmed like a monster high face. But I will still use it on Gina Fire. Not Gina Fire. Gina the Little. Because I don't care. Plus I know the older Monster High dolls are not as good as the newer ones. And that Jane Boo Little is a lot newer than the ones that typically have the paint problems. So, yeah. I can already tell you this Jade doll here is going to need some treatments at some point when the weather is nice. And I have the equipment to do so. Out in the sun, to get rid of those excess stains that won't come off with the baking soda. Now we're gonna scrub Lilani, or Kiani, I don't know which one is which. Get all up under the neck area. So there's a lot of gunk there too. Just really scrub all that crap off. Looks like she has some damage to her plastic. Maybe? Question mark? Or maybe it's just really stuck on goo, which sounds gross. Don't know. May need further investigating. Scrubbing her legs down. Baking soda. You especially want to use the baking soda on the rubber parts of the doll's bodies, such as Brat's shoes, Brat's legs, Brat's arms, and other things.
Okay, so you didn't miss much, but my camera stopped recording because I ran out of storage and because it was on slow mode for some reason, but basically I brushed and conditioned and detangled out Milani and Jade's hair. So the next ones I'm gonna do, it, well, I'm gonna do the other two now. Shouldn't take too long because they're pretty good. So the conditioner from the hair. So here are the dolls now that they're finished and dried. Jane, I just threw a temporary outfit on her. It's Sweet 1600 Draculaura's dress from Claude and Draculaura's Picture Day skirt. Um, I just conditioned and washed her and brushed out her hair and that's how it turned out. Maybe it might have turned out like, you know, maybe a little sleeker. I don't know if I well washed her, but I didn't feel like it. Um, didn't need it that bad. Uh, here's Dolly. We didn't boil wash her either. Her hair turned out amazing. Her, other than her bangs, they're a bit wonky, but I didn't try that hard to fix them either. Uh, she has a OMG Remix skirt on, and yeah, just look how good her hair turned out with just a wash and condition. And she also has an earring in that is from this thrift haul as well from some of the stuff i got uh after we pick up jane we're moving on to jade jade still has some stains on her that are like engraved into her body but i mean hey 
what can you do? She was, like, rudely abused. Um, her hair is obviously still cut, and there's not much I can do about it, so I tried to give her more of, like, a 90s, like, a firework type hair, you know, maybe, like, a summer party jade look. She is wearing the beach party jade outfit, uh, that she is originally meant to be wearing. Uh, I believe some Slumber Party Jades also came with those colored sunglasses. Um, but honestly, the line's been, like, re-released in so many different forms that, like, I don't even know anymore. But yeah, I tried my best with her hair and I, like, trimmed it a bit to try and make it more even. But, like, yeah, it was really hard with what the original owner had done to the hair. Then we got Lilani, Kiani, whatever her name is, Sisters of Different Height. She's wearing her original shirt, a uh, random skirt from my collection, and I think it was just a pair of black heels. I don't remember whose they were. They were either 2018 Chloe's or they were just random ones. But yeah, I trimmed up her hair, tried to make it neater, and I boil washed her to try and make it more flat and more of a hairstyle. They're definitely a lot cleaner and I friggin the dirt on them was disgusting but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like short little makeover video on these girls and yeah bye